Welcome, Blissology on Demand, Knights of the Round Table. This is a routine called Sir Blissolot, live from the castles of East England. I can't wait to do this short super flow practice with you, and I hope that you find the holy grail of bliss, love, joy, and connection inside of your heart. So I don't have a mat, but if I did, I'd be standing at the top of it, ground down through your feet. Elongate up through the crown, thumbs on the heart, breathe in, breathe out. Now take a big breath in and we'll go into a standing back arch, opening up to light. And then exhale, have your knees bent, fold forward and get a beautiful stretch. Elongate, breathe in. We're not going back to Chaturanga yet. Just breathe out and stretch out the back body. Now inhale, reach up and get that beautiful front stretch again. And exhale, hands come down. Let's just do that simple movement one more time. Keep it simple. Inhale, reach up and arch. Exhale, fold and stretch. Inhale, elongate up. And exhale, fold without worrying about how deep you go. Arch back, big breath in. And hands down. Okay, we'll build in that pattern. Standing back arch, big breath. Really take in this light. Exhale, fold forward, stretch it out. Get long and breathe in. Take your left foot back into a lunge. Inhale, reach up like you're a knight in King Arthur's court. Big breath on Johnny. And as you breathe out, come into pyramid pose. Stretch, breathe out. Rock around a little bit, in breath. We're just warming up, out breath. You're mostly trying to work with your muscle spindles to really let them adjust to the tension. Breathe in once more. And breathe out, dragon smoke, let it go. Bring your feet forward between the hands, elongating the spine. Fold forward and stretch. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And let's keep moving, folding from the hips, emptying. Getting long, breathe in. Take your right foot back this time. One breath, inhale, like a King Arthur lunge. Right knees up off the floor one inch. And then pyramid pose. Pull the hip back. Bow to the earth. This is what we are all knights protecting. The sacred earth. Breathe in. Breathe out and stretch out all your tension. Do one more. Breathe in. And empty your lungs. Let it go. Stretch. Join your feet and elongate your back. Beautiful. Fold forward. Stretch out the back. Inhale, reach up and arch. And exhale, hands come down. Let's try our fluid C this time. Inhale, reach. Take a big breath, standing back arch. Exhale, fold, and the hands go out to the side. Inhale, touch your heart if you've never done this sequence before. And then take your left foot back, press your hands forward, breathe out. Now we reach our arms up high. So we never touch the floor in the sequence. Left hand forward, right arm back, open up, pull your back knee up. Now bring your left heel down, inhale, arch back, make it fluid. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Don't touch the floor, bring your hands up to your heart and breathe in. Fly like a dragon, lift your left leg up, arms open wide. Ground your feet, arch back, breathe in. That was one side. Channel the beauty of the ocean, fold forward, hands go out and wide. Touch heart chakra and breathe in. Make a lion breath sound as your right foot steps back and hands press forward. Inhale, reach up. And like you have a sword in both hands, right hand forward, left hand back. Inhale, arch back, breathe in. Exhale, push the sword down into the floor in pyramid. Then touch your heart and breathe in. Lift your right leg up. Hands go out and wide. Gracefully join your feet. Take a big standing back arch. 
And we'll do one more round. Make a sound as your hands go out and wide. Inhale, fluidly touch heart. Exhale, left foot back, lion breath, hands forward. Inhale, reach. Left hand forward, right arm back, open. Inhale, arch, breathe in. You're facing the front, fold over your right leg, press an energy ball into the earth, touch your heart and breathe in. Left leg up, hands go out and wide. Join your feet, big breath. Last side, fluid C, S-E-A, fold forward, hands out and wide. Touch heart, breathe in. Right foot back, hands forward, breathe out. Inhale. So you're trying to open up your obliques on the side as you spin right hand forward, left hand back. Arch back, breathe in. Really make an out breath sound, feel your energy, move it like Merlin, press down. Inhale, touch your heart, breathe in. Right leg up, hands out and wide. Stand on the ground, arch back, bring in the light and then standing position. That was awesome. Take your right foot back. Inhale, reverse warrior position. Exhale, bring your left hand on your right thigh. We're doing our Dogtown and Z-Boys flow next. Inhale, left hand, left thigh. Arch back, karate chop that right hand over the head, and then throw your right hand down, come into triangle and breathe out. Now you can go a little lower for this next round if you want to, or stay up high like we just did. Reverse warrior, position one. Bend your right leg only as much as feels good for you. Breathe out. Inhale, press your right hip forward. Sweep your right arm up. Circle your right hand down, triangle, and breathe out. Reverse warrior, take a big breath in. Low lunge, empty. Inhale, sweep that right hand over the head. Last round and then circle right hand down. Hear your out breath. Now stay here and breathe in, triangle, and take a big exhalation out. Gaze up at your right hand. Now slowly bring your belly button toward the floor, and then reach your right arm up again. Take one big breath in. Now rotate from the belly, right hand around the left foot. Now inhale, triangle. Exhale, pause. Inhale, reverse triangle, so your left leg is still straight. As you breathe out, spin, mobilize these oblique muscles, and bring your right hand down to the left shin, or foot, left arm toward the sky, but don't park. Come back to a reverse triangle. Come to triangle pose. We'll put all three of those poses together in a flow. Right hand over the head. Inhale, right hand down, right thigh, reverse triangle. Exhale, revolve triangle, right hand across, circle. Left hand comes down the floor and up as you inhale. Exhale, triangle. Now we hold it in this last revolved. Inhale, come up, reverse. Exhale, revolved. Don't worry if your right hand's only on the left shin. You can step out with your right foot. Breathe in. And breathe out. Now your hips are going to get pulled over to the left. The stretch will come by pulling that left hip back. We showed in Yoga Optimize, like stretching a slingshot. Pull your left hip back away from the head. Breathe in. Breathe out. Hands to the left shin. Now, bring your left hand to the inside of the left foot just for a second. And I'm going to show a pose called Surfer's Triangle, which the left hand can come on left shin or around the foot. Right arm sweeps up over the head. So I'm going to start up here, which is a better place for lots of us to be. So you're reaching that right arm over the head like you're holding a pole and leaning your hips toward the right. Left hand down if you can go deeper, but watch your lower back. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Now reverse triangle. Triangle pose. And then join both feet together top of the mat. Lengthen your spine, close your eyes, amazing. All right, left foot back, open your arms up, reverse your warrior, position one. So first I'm gonna show you the modification. Bring left, uh, bend your left leg and take right hand on your left thigh. 
Now take your left hand over the head, right hand's on right thigh, and I'm pushing my 